shiny stainless steel curtain dominates the main street of New Plymouth and wraps around the building, the Len Lai Gallery. Opened in July 2015, the building houses a large collection of the work of New Zealand-born Len Lai. The ripples and waves of the stainless steel create an image that Len Lai would certainly have been impressed with. He was convinced that motion was part of the language of art. The centre's opening exhibition gives over two large galleries to the work of Len Lai. Lai is not only famous for his kinetic sculpture, but also experimental films and his writings. This particular installation is known as the Four Fountain. During his lifetime, Lai sketched and designed a number of kinetic sculptures. He called them his tangibles, but many were not built until after his death. Some of his designs were ahead of the technology available to him. It was often years later before suitable technology became available for the construction of his kinetic sculpture. And there are still designs yet to be constructed. As we move around the exhibition, we see examples of Lai's other works. There are more traditional forms of sculpture, paintings and artwork, and examples of his writing. Leaving New Zealand as a young person, Lai arrived in London in 1926. Here he made films for the General Post Office Film Unit and the Crown Film Unit and the Ministry of Information during World War II before he moved to New York to make movies for the March of Time series. His films were particularly experimental, some made without the use of a camera, but were drawn or scratched directly onto the film itself, and he experimented with colour. And so the centre has a small cinema to hold regular screenings of Len Lai's movies. And here we see a screening of its first film, Tusa Lava, made in 1929. The film seems to draw on Lai's interest in ethnic art. Firebush from 1961 seems to pull the viewers in as it builds up to its hectic climax and our breathing seems to speed up to match the increasing pace of the rods. And as the climax is passed and the movement begins to slow down, so too does the viewer begin to breathe more normally again. The Len Lai Gallery has been attached to the Govit Brewster Art Gallery and together they form a very impressive art centre. And just a step away on the waterfront is another Len Lai feature. It's his 45 metre high windwalk, now an iconic part of the city of New Plymouth. <laughs> 